Hey everybody, it's uh, the dead of winter. It's just about New Year's Eve. And this is my Honda Goldwing. This is a 1981 Honda Goldwing. And for my winter project, I'm getting rid of these leaky, nasty, poor performing carburetors. See all this mess down here? That's from this carburetor leaking. Probably a float sticking because it comes and goes. Anyways, we are going to remove the four carburetors, put in um, some pipes to a central plenum, which I'll probably 3D print, and put a throttle body in the center. The reason I want to do that rather than independent throttle bodies is, you know, you don't have to do the carb sinking, and you also get a much better vacuum signal for the ECM. I haven't decided what ECM I'll go with on this. I'd really like to do a Hall Tech, but not sure I want to spend that kind of money. But none of the, the mega squared options by the time you start getting something uh watertight you're in that price range anyways so why not go with something that's designed to be watertight so this is a 81 gl 1100 it's the interstate version so it's got all the fairings and stuff on it but anyways it's a 1.1 liter flat four it's got some good torque and everything um but you know i had so much trouble with these carburetors you'd open it too far and all the power would go away and yeah, crap like that so anyways the carbs on un uh, unhook right here sorry about the shaky cam I, I don't have my tripod handy so they're gonna unhook here and then it's just pipes um to do the the plenum in the center so i can i can even pull these off to you know get better access in here the factory throttle setup the dual cable and there's a bunch of linkages that go to all the carbs it's just going to get wholesale ripped out of here so um now i'm gonna have to put a high pressure pump in I, I figure i'll just do it down here um below the petcock i'll just put an inline pressure pump you know something like something from an old f-150 where they used to put them on the frame rail under the truck and it'll do fine this bike's got one heck of a battery let me get this open there we go yeah that's the same battery that I used to have in my little Dodge Omni to start the, the uh, 2.4 2 liter engine. So, plenty of battery. In fact, I cranked this thing over for probably 20 minutes trying to get it to start last time. The carbs are just done with me and I'm done with them, so the feeling's mutual. The next time I go to start it, it'll be fuel injected. So, what I gotta start doing now is tearing it down. I needed to do the timing belt up front anyways, it's about due. So I gotta pull this whole fairing off. This bike's gonna get torn down. Um, yeah, and it's the dead of winter right now. It's like I said, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so I've got uh, plenty of time before I need to ride it for spring. Um, with this fairing, this thing's great in cold weather. It's got this crappy homemade windshield, but you know it's better than not not having a windshield, I guess. But you can't hardly see through it when you're riding. Mirrors are kind of loose. They wiggle around. But, you know, that happens on most bikes. <laughs> uh, yes. Sorry about the mess in my garage. It's my storage unit. But anyways, yeah. I mean, it's got a round headlight on the Just a normal headlight up here. Yep. Gotta do the forks. They're all leaking. But, uh, yeah. One thing at a time, get the engine to run right. So, get these uh, these things off so I can start tearing into it. I might even pop the uh, heads off and do the valve stem seals because it smokes, it, it burns oil real bad after having been parked a while. So, might as well seal up that leak. Anyways, um, yeah, see if I can find a tripod so you can watch some time lapse or something. So, uh, I don't even know what my tools are right now, so I gotta track those down. I'm gonna start with the battery, get the seat out of here, get this plastic tank emulator out of here. It's not a gas tank, a gas tank's somewhere else. I think it's this thing down here or something. Anyways, let's see what we can find. So, you know, this thing does have a center stand. I don't know how on earth you would get a Goldwing onto its center stand, so I'll worry about that another time. Maybe when I get like five friends to help. I got a 9 and 11. Needless to say, that's not what I need. This is a 10. Hey, what do you know? Tools you find on the floor.
battery's free. I'm just gonna leave that light bulb in the battery ca ca cable. There. Yeah. Big old powerful battery. 340 cold cranking amps. Yep, yep. AGM. Put that on my charger later. Anyways, let's see what I can do for getting the uh, seat and the tank off. Way too much work to get the seat off. Yeah, there's a gas tank and a fuel sender on top of it. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, two tens to get the fake tank off. Uh, yeah, it wasn't bolted on in the front. That's brilliant. Filter box is about to fall off. Mm, air filter is nice and clean. At least October. Um. Oh, here's the reaper. Worst case, just reef on it. Oh, okay. The crankcase for either a PCB type thing. Makes sense. You want filter air to go into the crankcase. I'll have to address that, you know, after I'm all done with all this. So let me ha show you what's going on in here. So, yeah, this is the air, air, you know, plenum between the carburetors because these Honda carburetors are real sensitive to not having clean air. That's why you can't just put cone air filters on them without them completely failing to function at all. So, i got to figure out how to get this out of here, working my way down to the carburetors. Um, I could try pulling, you know, just the, where they bolt onto the heads on both sides and see if I can slip it out sideways. Um, see what's attached from there. So let's do that. Okay. Yeah, we got you zoomed in a little bit. Don't need to see the whole bike now. Oh, there's another bolt that I need to hang on to. Now, these, everything on this bike is a 10, I love it. Well, here's my better ratchet. Harbor Freight Ratchets for the win. Uh, I was looking on eBay for a head gasket set for this thing. There's a $65 one and there's a $110 one. They both seem to be about the same. Somebody's probably just making more money on one of them. So I will have to buy one of those if I pull the heads and I probably will unless I get, you know, too rushed in the end and just want to throw this thing together and ride it. We'll see. If I'm out of parts and I need money to, you know, keep going, I might just start tearing it apart so I can keep going, you know, laterally at least. That uh, Haltech with the wiring harness and everything is about $1,500. So I have to get that. All right, there's that one. Let's do the other side. Okay, what I need, see these are going to come straight out. So these are going to have to come off.
Come on. What the heck? No, it's stuck by the exhaust system. Well, I was going to pull the head anyways. I could pull the exhaust system. Squirrel. Oh. Fear the reefer. All right, so we got the fairing off. Found this giant heavy weight on the front of the bike that says this is here for stability and don't remove it. So, yeah, that prevents death wobble, I guess. <laughs> uh, um, got one of the throttle cables loose. These are in just the worst possible place. Figured out the gas tank has to go that way. So there's no way I'm taking the gas tank out. Loosened up the clip on here, and these are coming off. Um, this one's loose now, so I'm just going to put the camera back and get this off. It'll be one less thing I have to deal with when I'm pulling the carburetors out. tubes I'm talking about. I'm gonna stick pipes, you know, into here and we'll go to the center. No carburetors in the way. Just a throttle body in the center. I'm gonna pull through an air filter. No big deal. Uh, so what's it gonna take to get you guys out? I've still got the cables all wrapped up around the linkage. So I guess Don't want to cut these throttle cables. I'm sure they come off relatively easily once I it out. Let's see if I can get the things off the other side. Alright. That's my mission for tonight is to just get the carburetors out of the bike. Wow, 
This is a carburetor O-ring seal. Uh-huh. Hard as a might as well be plastic. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these carbs are due for a reason. Now well, that gave me the clearance I needed to get it out. <laughs> Let's sell these on eBay. That's cool. So, uh, take my micrometer and measure the diameter of these, or of these even. Um, these are uh, probably metric, but they. I don't know, 40 millimeter, 44 millimeter, something like that. And uh, then I'll get some, some tubes, and then I gotta create the plenum that's gonna go in the middle. And uh, that kind of depends on what throttle body I come up with for it. I'll just grab something off of a, a small car, something that's gonna, you know, fit in there nicely, and take an air filter rather easily. It's obvious I'm gonna stick a cone air filter in there. Um, so. That's it for now. Oh, and injectors. Yeah. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, we're just going to drill a hole right here, um, weld in some injector bungs. Uh, I've got a friend that can weld aluminum. And uh, then we can put the injectors, like, you know, pretty much. Uh, hopefully you can see me okay. Yeah. So the, the two injectors will be, you know, just sticking up like this. And then a little fuel rail here, the line that runs over the other side, I should probably do that in like hard line, or at least braided stainless. And uh, yeah, that's all I need for injectors. And a throttle body that can give me a throttle position sensor and vacuum and yeah, that's really all there is needed. <sighs> Still got to pull the radiator out, do the timing belt, and you know, once I've pulled the timing belts off, I'll probably pull the heads off and just do that and I can clean this all up while I'm in there. So thanks for following along. I'm going to try and make regular progress on this. Um, gosh, filling the holes for the injector bungs is going to be interesting to say the least. But uh, it can be done. Cool. Thanks for watching. Feel free to toss your comments down below and let me know what I'm doing wrong because, uh, you know, I've done this a bunch of times on cars, just not on a motorcycle. So it's not like I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, I appreciate anybody's guide, you know, advice. The later models of uh, Goldwings did come with fuel injection, but they did it just as stupid as the old carburetors. They had a central plenum and four throttle bodies. It's like, oh, we don't want to change anything. So... And we're back to having crappy vacuum signals and having to balance the, the, you know, it's not the end of the world to balance those, but why bother? I, you know, I'd rather just have a central throttle body and one throttle blade to deal with. So, you know, you get a throttle body off a motorcycle. That way it works with my throttle cables, get the push-pull setup, which would be nice. Yeah, I'll look into that.